No joke, this could be the biggest news for Quest this year, and that is game streaming. A while ago, Project Avalanche was leaked in some internal code, and it was said to be some sort of streaming service that would stream PC VR games to your Quest without needing a PC. And it's kind of been hinted that Meta has been working on that for quite some time, waiting for the point that it could actually be feasible, where the internet connection speeds were reliable enough to actually make it work. Well, are we getting closer? Because a YouTube channel called GamerGen, and I'll put a link in the description to the video down below for you to see it, posted what you're seeing right now just a little while ago. It seems to show them in a live stream finding the Avalanche access in their experimental tab. If you watch, you'll see them click on activate Avalanche Alpha, when they click on it, it pops up with a notification that says Lone Echo, which would be incredible if we could play that game on Quest. Lone Echo 1 and 2 are amazing games. Then hits continue, and then there is an error not able to make it work. But if that's happening, and it's appeared on someone's headset recently, because you're wearing a Quest 3, this is new, that means we could potentially see some sort of version of this at Connect this year, maybe. This could be massive news. If Meta has figured out how to stream VR games to your Quest, it could open up a whole new library of games of massively higher quality that you can play on a standalone device, only requiring an internet connection, not even needing a PC nearby. Holy cow, I hope this is actually true, and this is what's coming, and I hope it's coming very soon. Now, it could just be an internal thing that popped up on accident, and it's a test, and it's nowhere near release. Nobody really knows. But I had to make this quick video because I had to tell you how amazing this potentially could be and how exciting it would be to have full quality PC VR streaming to your Quest. If Meta can figure out the buffer and figure out how to make the stream reliable enough and of high enough speed to do it, then I think that they might actually push that and we would get PC VR level graphics on our Quest wirelessly no PC required. Can you imagine how awesome that would be? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks for joining for me for this super short video. I just had to let you know how excited I was and tell you how big of a deal this could be. As I find more information, I'll release more information on here on the channel, so don't forget to subscribe for more updates. Thanks so much for watching. Happy questing.